locked out okay hi everybody welcome back if this is your first time here just welcome we are chilling in a 2005 Mazda MPV miniature van with 152,000 miles on the odometer ah copyright it doesn't turn there we go okay all right, so we are, uh, we're skipping uh, any kind of lengthy intro today. I don't have time for that. Nobody's got time for that. Uh, anyway, we are here because customer states that the radio turned back on. Stop it. Stop it. It doesn't even turn down. Ah. No. Stop not listening to me. Silence. Okay. So customer states that... Hmm. I'm, I don't, I don't even know. Oh, here we go, volume button. Yeah, I figured it out, technology. Okay, third time's a charm. Customer states that right side window does, it well, goes down, but it's hard to go back up. And we have just duplicated their symptoms. Uh, my technician senses indicate to me that the window regulator is faulty and or the motor in the regulator is worn out and that uh, should be replaced. Uh, I'm gonna swing it into the shop, pop the panel off, make a visual inspection on all the uh, the interworkings of the door slash window regulator assembly, and then we're gonna replace the door window regulator assembly. So stay tuned, this should be good. Now, I have had too much coffee today, so if, uh, if I'm talking a mile in a minute, then uh, we can blame that on, uh, on, on coffee, because I had lots of it. Now, uh, Speaking of coffee, um, not sponsored, but uh, you guys may recognize the YouTube channel. But I got this from the gas station, and it is actually Black Rifle Coffee uh, Espresso. Good stuff, lots of caffeine, made in America. Now, I mentioned um, not sponsored, but if you guys want to send me like some cases of this stuff, uh, I'll make sure I product place it in my videos. That way I can have free coffee from now to eternity. Now, I know I said not sponsored, and I'm not one to uh, promote things. Uh, for free 99 just because but i just can't pass up the opportunity to send a big shout out to matt best and the black rifle coffee company and youtube channel check them out now i also know that they said passenger window um but uh, over here i went to roll the driver's side one up and this one is broken too a lot so we need we need both window regulators yeah this one's slow and this one goes Okay, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go let my service advisory staff know what I have located, and uh, we'll see what our consumer wishes to do. Alrighty, I have received authorization to remove this door panel and replace the window regulator that it contains. So we will begin by pulling the screws out of it. It's got a couple metal screws, and then there are plastic screws at the bottom of the panel hanging out. And I can't stand plastic screws because they don't actually function as screws. They function more of like a like a push pin than anything. But that's uh, that's engineering for you. Okay. I don't have any room to work with this. Hmm. Maybe I'll pull the panel loose and then try to get those uh, those little guys off. I can't get my fingies back there. Now this is the singular screw that holds the handle to the door frame. Without it, the panel has nothing kind of to hold on to, so when you go to close your door, it'll just break the panel. That would be bad. Now, moving uh, down below, we can see there's one of the plastic screws, and there's supposed to be another one there, but it is uh, missing. So we're not gonna worry about that. Okay, with all the uh, fasteners removed, this thing should just pop off. There's gonna be some clips behind it, yes. Oh, there's some trim hanging us up right here. This piece has to come out. Oh, that was easy. Okay. Stop 
all the way down. Now I can, now I have some space to play with here. Still have to get these cables removed. There we go. They have to be angled and then pulled out. You can see the little holes that they ride in right there. Next, we're gonna give her the old reach around and unplug the plugs. Also, without breaking anything. Hmm. This one I can't find the tab for. Where are you? Oh, it's recessed, okay. Got it. Ooh, a hidden one. Okay, again, my uh, technician senses alert me to the possibility that somebody has been in here before. Because this uh, plastic insulator thing has been removed and the, uh, the glue is all... I don't even know. Ow! I burnt my leg on a light bulb. Why? That'll wake you up. The coffee didn't do it. Light bulbs will. Yeah, gross. My uh, next primary objective is going to be to remove this plastic business without getting black stuff all over myself uh, or my tools and it, without folding it over onto itself, gluing itself to itself. Because if I were to do any of those, I won't be able to put it back. And we're going to want to put it back. Do not contaminate interior with sticky substance. Okay, next I need to plug the door panel back in to raise the window all the way up. That way I can get to the bolts at the regulator and disconnect everything. Oh, come here. Don't worry, I will help it. Come on up. Got it. And I will unplug this switch again and get this giant panel out of my way. Again. Okay, where are my regulator parts? Hmm, they're hiding. They're hiding very well. They're behind this section here. Okay, so the motor is right there. Got three bolts that hold the motor on, and I think that there's, yeah, Here's a track right here. There's a bolt for the track. There's a bolt for the track. So let's get these guys disconnected. I actually may have to lower this glass down one more time to get the bolts that hold the regulator to the glass. Okay, that's the motor. We'll let that dangle there for a moment. Pull the track out. Now the motor is connected with a cable, so even though it's disconnected, I can still operate the window. Okay, here it comes, it's coming down some. Yeah, I'm gonna have to run the window down again to get the bolts. Don't have the reach. Click. Go down. 
down. All right, that's enough. Disconnect again. Love my job so much, I'd do it 36 times. Okay, now right here, there's one of the bolts and there's the other one. So we're just gonna pull those guys out. And if I can, I'll just remove the window entirely, the glass section, uh, that way it does not run the risk of falling down and breaking. If I can't get it to come out, then I'll just kind of let it hang out in there until I get a new regulator. Okay, the glass is supposed to be free. There it goes. Okay, the glass doesn't want to come out, so I'm just going to hang on to that while I fish this regulator out. I need to disconnect the connection. Okay, the glass is up and out of the way. assembly okay so it doesn't fall randomly I'm gonna let the glass all the way down and it's just gonna hang out here well it looks like I'm taking the glass out okay the part is ordered this is now going to remain in limbo until the new part gets here and we are not going to replace that regulator over there. We're just going to do this one over here. All right, that showed up faster than I thought. I have replacement parts. Let's uh, see what's in here, shall we? Looks good so far. I think this is it. Yep, okay. Okay, glass, you're going back in. All the way down. Glad I have a headlight, otherwise I would never be able to see what I'm trying to see. Yet. It's got to come towards me ever so slightly. There it is. Cool. Okay, it's on track again. Let's fit the regulator into its hole. Hey, buddy, how are you? Doing just fine. How are you? Well, I got the limo here. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have got the machine on it right now. Uh, recovering whatever is in there and uh, then I'll recharge it for you. That's stuck. I, just, I had it in there twice. I'm a little confused. Just put new lines. Can I see lines on it? Yeah. Come on now. It's stuck. Let's try that again. I had it I had it backwards. It wasn't uh, it wasn't gonna fit. So let's try this uh, one more time. Doing it uh, not backwards. I didn't, didn't realize I was, I was talking to that guy and my headlight was shining in his face. I didn't notice till halfway through when he kept squinting when I looked over at him. Oops. reaching up to make sure I don't scratch the glass with this regulator, which I don't believe I'm going to. And I'm trying to find the stud to place in this bolt hole right here. There it is. Oh, 
Okay. Let's put a nut on that to hold it. I'll do one more at the bottom down here. And then we'll get the, uh, the motor mounted, which I can't see. I can only feel it. Three more nuts. Cool. Okay, next up, I'm gonna plug the panel back in so I can run the regulator down to run the window down. Then I can put the two screws affixing the glass to the regulator and key on um oh you know what i should probably plug the motor in there we go there it is right there unplug the panel again come out there two screws to go into the glass. Now the little fasteners on this glass are nylon, so we're not gonna we're not gonna impact these in. That would be counterproductive. And it'll probably break the little plastic fastener things. I don't want to do that either. Click. Okay, let's plug the panel back in for the 72nd time in order to do a function check. Up, yep. And down, yep. Okay, that'll do it. It works. Now, for my favorite part, putting the sticky stuff back on. There we go. Well, that didn't work. I wanted to take that little fold out of it, but I, I tore it instead. Fail. Okay, we've got the plasticky stuff re-adhered. That's not the right word. It's stuck back on. Okay, one last time for the panel and we're good. Uh, let's get the light bulb first. Go in there. Click. Oh, I got sticky stuff on the door. Fail. Oops, cut. Let's, uh, let's try this again. Ooh, I know. That's broken. See that? Let's try this. We'll put the linkage on first and then sneak this thing through the panel. Yes, then I'll hang the panel. Good, I almost forgot the little for the door handle right here. There, now that plastic stuff's really, really secure. A little push pin plastic screw. 
that goes back and a couple more fasteners and some wipe me down action this thing will be done click click again and uh, one more screw for the handle that one goes down there oh it clicked for me all by itself nice decorative now this is the absolute most important part of any kind of interior work and that is to remove any trace evidence of your presence because if you do interior work and you leave behind any forensic evidence you will have generated an unsatisfied customer and no more sticky stuff so i bet when you uh clicked on this video you never thought you'd be entertained by watching a guy wash off windows yet here you are and here I am washing windows wax on wax off wax on wax off and I'll just repeat this for about 10 minutes until there's no more sticky fingerprints on my glass you know what, better yet, I was gonna cut this scene, but I, I think I'll leave it in and I'll just turn it on super high speed, fast motion, light speed action. That way we can watch it all go down without having to sit through 10 minutes of window wiping. So, engaging hyperdrive now. There we go, it's uh, it's becoming spotless. Super duper clean. Now, if you guys have the sense of humor that I think you have, I do expect fully to see about 10,000 comments uh, down below that say that I missed a spot. Um, you're probably right. Uh, I don't see it, but I know you guys see it because you do see everything. So please, when you find the spot that I missed, uh, feel free to let me know about that in uh, comment land down below. All right, guys, this one is a success. The procedure has been completed. Let's do one more function check real quick before I go ahead and sign off. Uh, I'm not gonna back this out just yet and park it and uh, do my normal outro because there's a limo parked behind me getting the AC recharged right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this one quits right now and say sayonara to you guys. Before I go though, of course, I have to thank everybody here for watching this video. I certainly do appreciate you hanging out here till all the way at the end. I hope you liked this video. If you did like this video, please feel free to communicate that to me very effectively by tappy tapping that like button down below because I already know you're gonna be down there telling me that I missed a spot somewhere like that one and that one. But I look forward to the abuse. That being said, again, and as always, thank you guys for watching. And most importantly, don't you guys forget to have yourselves a great day. See you guys later.